Good evening. Welcome to the Timberdome. Michael Rose here along with Rock and Red. Randy Fryer, QA back at Vipe Live. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Lady Timberwolves here hosting the Rouse Raiders. Lady Timberwolves undefeated in district thus far. Keeping it rolling tonight. Shout out to one very important VIP, VIL, very important listener. They know who they are. Get well soon. Be good. Have fun. Enjoy the ride. And uh, <laughs> may the force be with you all. Hey, and I know I spoke with someone's daughter, and I haven't heard from him today. So, Mr. Larry, Mr. Larry Hayes, I know you're listening, man, and I want you to continue to chat with me. I just thought it was funny that I couldn't chat with you. So I hope, 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 hope that you are not shying away from me tonight, sir. I want to hear from you early and often, just like the people in Chicago who vote early and often, right? So... Wherever you may be, whoever you are, welcome to the broadcast. Michael Rose here once again. A couple minutes here before the tip-off. Let me take this opportunity right now to introduce you to the 2021-2022 Lady Timberwolves. Molly Lee, number zero, and I'm a junior. Elaine King, number 10, I'm a senior. Isabel Peters, number 15, and I'm a sophomore. Gisela Mall, number 21, and I'm a junior. Megan Woods, number 22, and I'm a senior. Brees Prater Merrill, number 31, and I'm a senior. Anna Miner, number 33, and I'm a junior. Alyssa Flanagan, number 40, and I'm a senior. Shelby Hayes, number 44, and I'm a senior. Angie Sackbill, number 50, and I'm a senior. There they are, folks. The 2021-2022 Lady Timberwolves taking on the Ross Raiders tonight. Lady Timberwolves, it's black and white night here at the Timberdome. Lady Wolves in their white uniforms, green and black trim. Rouse Raiders in their black uniforms with their gold numbers and trim. Gold numbers and letters, I should say, in the maroon trim. So black, gold numbers, maroon trim. Here we go. Good evening, Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Cohn, the PA announcer. Ready for the greatest show on wood. Tonight, a district 25-5A men's women's doubleheader between Cedar Park Timberwolves and Rouse Raiders. First up, the women's team. Reminder here that the UIL and LISD tolerate no abusive language directed to players, coaches, or officials. Violators are subject to immediate removal from the facility thanks in advance to their cooperation. Cedar Park Games broadcast live worldwide on the Vite Network. Michael Rose with a call www.vypelive.com. Raiders of Leander's Rouse High School, 11-11 on the season two and three in district play. Defending state champion Timberwolves, 21-0 and ranked number one in every poll. Wins over 11 6A teams championships of three prestigious tournaments. They won 43 straight, ranked number one. It's been over a calendar year since the last loss, a 46-game winning streak overall, and they have won 60 straight district games stretching back to February of 2017. And now, will you please rise for our national anthem? <laughs> Olivia Cowan. 
Number three, Mia Mackey. Number four, Tania Shorter. Number two, two, Amani Justice. Number 23, Abby Boffman. Head coach, the Raiders, Laurie McDonald. And now, the Timberwolves. First up, number zero, Molly Lee. Number 10, Elaine King. 21, Gisela Moore. Number two, two, Megan Wood. And number four, four, Shelby Hayes. That coach is Donnie Ott and his fifth season coach on the little under the weather tonight. Tammy Williamson at the helm, assisted by J.R. Romero and Rebecca Zabel Brewer. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Lady Timberwolves tonight, starting lineup. Molly Lee, Elaine King, Gisela Mall, Megan Woods, and Shelby Hayes. Give some love to the scores table, friends. Come on now. They're throwing out so many basketballs from the state championship. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's rock and roll, y'all. Thank you so much for being part of the broadcast. And again, another big old shout out and thank you to my cohort tonight, Mr. Randy Fry, the Rockin' Rev, as he is endearingly called by so many. Oh my goodness, my phone, man. My phone is weird. Did your phone do stuff? Like you looked up something on the internet a few minutes ago. Now it's telling you all the results even though you closed the app. That's weird. Anyways, I digress. Lane King said to tip things off. Tip goes to G. G gets knocked out of her hands. Lane gives it right back to her. We're underway here at the Timberdome. G, far side, Shelby in the corner, up top, Molly. Molly thought about a three-pointer, pulls it down. Gives it to G, G in the corner for three, off the mark, no good. Luke's ball, who's going to get it? Shelby picks it up, restarts the offense. Lady Timberwolves here to my right, he's sitting here at the scores table between both benches at the Timberdome, as I usually do. Shelby inside, goes outside, Molly Lee. Now in the corner, there's Megan, Megan up top to Elaine, swing it around near side, there's... G with the basketball. Molly Lee top of the key now. Resets over to Megan. Megan for three. Megan Woods off the side of the rim. No good. Rebounded by the Lady Raiders. Number 23, Abby Boffman gets the rebound. Hands it off to number three, Nia Mackey. Mackey with the basketball. And Nia Mackey along with Tania Schroeder. Avani Justice now over in the corner. There's Olivia Cowan. Cowan with the basketball. Now Justice. Justice at the top of the key going to the right side. On the far side, that is. Mackey gets the loose ball, resets everything. <laughs> Offensive foul called against the Lady Raiders. Abby Boffman called the first personal, first team foul, as you just heard Brad say, for the Lady Raiders. G brings it up the floor. Near side, Molly Lee in the corner. High post, Elaine kicks it back out. Nobody there. First turnover of the evening for the Lady Timberwolves. Elaine wanted to give it right back to Molly. Molly took off down the floor to into the corner a little bit deeper. Nobody there. So Lady Raiders basketball near side. Shorter with the basketball. Tania Shorter. Top of the key. Over to the far side now. Cowan. Cowan with it. Cowan coming now to the top of the key, guarded by Molly Lee. Swing to the far side. There's Mackey. Mackey with the basketball. Now Boffman. Boffman swing around near side. Cowan down low. Justice on the baseline. Tries to get around Elaine. Puts it up in the air. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Shelby. Shelby's going to push the floor. Here she comes up the near sideline. In the corner, Molly Lee for three on the way. It's good. Three, Molly, Lee. Molly Lee gets the first points of the evening for the Lady Timberwolves. Three to nothing the score here with 5.55 to go in the first quarter. Let's go Wolves. In the far side, Cowan with the basketball. Shorter with the jumper on the way. No good. Loose ball rebounded by G. Gisela with the basketball. Goes baseline, does Gisela. Up off the glass. No good, but she's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Shoot two. 
to Avani Justice for first, second team foul. Avani Justice, as you just heard Brad say. Two team fouls now for the Lady Raiders. Free throw for the for Gisela is on the way. It's good. Other one drops in. Two for two for the line for G here to start things off tonight. 5.36 to go. Errant pass to the Lady Raiders bench. Tania Shorter wasn't tall enough, pun intended, to get that errant pass. Turn over back to the Lady Timberwolves. Got to look like a substitution trying to get in. Number 21, Kyla Reed checks in. And Tania Shorter checks out. Molly Limbound it. Near side, down low to G. G goes baseline, jumper on the way. Off the side of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Miss Reed. Kyla Reed hands it off to Mackey. Mackey pushes the floor. Up the far side, tries to get around Megan. Megan cuts her off the pass. Mackey's got to pull it all the way back up to the top of the key now. Thinks about a jumper, pulls her back, gives it to Justice. Justice on the far side, guarded by Elaine. Goes into the, into the lane, but a foul. Well, actually a travel call. That's saw the open hand. Not the close fist for that violation, not a foul. Went right into the teeth of Elaine King's defense and wound up walking. Turnover back to the Lady Wolves. Reese Prater Merrill and Angie Sacco looking to check in. Megan with it. Down low on the baseline. Jumper on the way. That's good. That's G. Gisela with the big bucket. 7 rip. Lady Wolves on top. Another turnover. G gets the loose ball. Outlet to Molly. Molly on the right side. Off high off the glass. Bounces around. Drops in. Molly Lee with a fancy move right there. Knew she had a little bit of defense in the way, so she took a big arcing hook and a nice steal by Gisela at midcourt. She'll lay it up, and it's good. Molly and G getting all the points here so far. 11 0. 429 to go. Timeout taken on the floor. 30-second time. I will keep it right here again. Though, folks, thanks so much for paying attention and keeping track of Lady Timberwolves basketball here on Vipe Live. Appreciate the Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves Basketball Booster Club for making this broadcast possible. Appreciate all of our listeners, as I mentioned before. And, of course, thanks to the man to my left right here. That's Mr. Brad Cohn, public address announcer here at the Timberdome. Boys will be, the men, young men, will be playing basketball here after the girls tonight, the young women. Brad and telling me it's time to change it from girls basketball to women's basketball and I'm trying to buy in I, not that I don't buy in just trying to get used to saying it Angie Sacco Reese Peter Merrill Shelby Hayes G Mall and Molly Lee in the game here Elaine and Megan took a seat they'll take a breather nice pass into the corner but it's taken away Shelby was right there stepped in front of him looked like it was going to be a good pass to break the press but Shelby right there to get rid of, uh, or split the difference, I should say. On a tough break right there as Angie Sacco couldn't hang on to the basketball. She tried to make a move around Shelby's screen. And the ball comes all the way over here at our feet at the scorer's table. Molly Lee will inbound it and went off the Lady Raiders. So it will stay with Lady Timberwolves. I beg your pardon. I didn't see the... I didn't see the official's hand, the referee's hand, go in the direction of Lady Wolves. Reese Prater Merrill, far side, now back up top. G with the basketball. Near side in the corner, Molly Lee. Nice move inside to Shelby. Knocked out of the hand, out of her hands. The loose ball picked up by the Lady Raiders. Mackey with it. Goes baseline. Tries to get around Reese. Reese forces the turnover into the hands of Gisela. G's going to push the floor. Here comes Mall on the left side. Gets around the defender. Puts it off the glass and in. 13 nothing. Lady Wolves on top. 3.33 to go here in the first quarter. Mackey with the basketball up the far sideline. Now Cowan in the corner. Takes a step back, launches a three-pointer on the way. No good. Loose ball rebounded by Angie. Angie outlets to G. G pushes the floor up the far sideline. Oh, G lost the handle. Was going to make a move. A lot of contact between both players right there. G was hoping for a foul. No call at all. Turnover back to the Lady Raiders. <laughs> Isabel Peters checks into the basketball game for the Lady Timberwolves. Molly Lee takes a seat. Reese, Angie, Shelby, G, and Isabel in the game here. 3.10 to go. Mackey gets it at half court and then gets it across the stripe. 
Mackey now going from the point over to the far side on the wing. Directing the offense inside three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Lady Wolves on top, 13 to rip. 13 nothing now. Boffin with the basketball, swinging to the far side. Mackey, Mackey looking for a little help. Popping up. There's Riley Lawson. Lawson now gives it to Justice. Avani Justice, top of the key, makes a move into the paint. Jumper on the way, loose ball, no good. Rebounded by Boffman. She puts it up and in. Abby, Abby with the first points of the evening for the Lady Raiders. It's 13-2. <coughs> Another turnover from the Lady Timberwolves as they tried to push it down to the baseline and it gets knocked out of bounds. 2.30 to go. Oh, almost a walk right there. Pass inside, taken away by Angie. Angie with right place, right time on that one. Out to GG on the near side on the wing. Up top, Shelby. Shelby looked at a three, pulled it down, gave it to G. Now she launches the three. It's good. Gisela Maul with another bucket for the Lady Timberwolves. It makes it 16-2. 2.02 to go here in the first quarter. Mackey gets around Peters, gets across the half-court stripe. Reese Prater Merrill gets her hands in the air, knocks it out of the air, gets the loose ball, goes inside, throws it right into the hands of Boffman. Loose ball, they're going the other way and do the Lady Raiders. Gets trapped in the corner, puts it up to the top. There's Mackey. Mia Mackey with the basketball. And the Lady Raiders have possession. Swing it around far side. There's Reed. Reed with the basketball gets knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Raiders. Elaine King and Megan Woods set to check back in here on the whistle, and they do. Along with Olivia Cowan for the Lady Raiders. Shelby and G will take a breather with 133 to go here in quarter number one. Lady Wolves on top, 16 to 2. <coughs> Inbounds to Mackey on the near side. Down low, taken away. Isabel comes up with a loose ball. She's pushing the floor right up the middle. Now she'll pull it way back as she gets across the half-court stripe. Far side in the corner is Megan Woods. Puts it back up top. Isabel Peters with the basketball going back to the far side. Now coming around near side. Reese Prater Merrill wide open for three. Knocked that down, young lady. Oh, off the side. No good. Loose ball rebounded by Elaine. Kicks it inside for whatever reason. Not sure why she did that. Knocked out of the air and out of bounds off of the Raiders. It'll stay with the Lady Timberwolves. Elaine saw Isabel flash into the basket. And too many hands in there to knock it away. Told Elaine King before the game wanted to see her put five, five points on the stat sheet tonight. Three-pointer in the corner off the side. No good. Re loose ball rebound by Angie. She makes a move. Circles back around. Lays it up with that left hand. Angie gets a big bucket tonight. Eighteen to two into the down low underneath. Marin Smith down low. Jumper from Avani Justice on the way. And she's fouled as she puts that jumper in the air. So she'll go to the line to shoot two. Uh, Reese Prater Merrill. Prater -Merrill her second, team second. Two fouls on Reese. Two team fouls for the Lady Timberwolves. 41 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Lady Wolves on top, 18 to 2. First free throw for Justice. Rattles in and out. 0 for 1 now from the line. Reese Prater Merrill, Isabel Peters, Elaine King, Angie Sacco, and Megan Woods in the game for the Lady Timberwolves. Inside a minute, and just as his second free throw drops in. Ball knocked out of bounds off of the Raiders. It'll stay with the Lady Timberwolves as they push it deep into the corner. Peters inbounds it to G. Gisela with it, 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. Back to Isabel, near side. Down to Elaine on the baseline, back up top in the wing. There's Isabel, kicks it to Megan Woods, top of the key. Swing it far side, now Gisela goes inside, high post to Elaine, flash into the basket. Nice jumper from the elbow, just off the mark, no good, but a nice look at the basket for Elaine King. 20 seconds to go, Mackey pushes up the floor, Cowan for three, near side on the wing. Ooh, rattles in and out, no good. Angie Saka with the rebound. Isabel Peters is going to push the floor. Nine seconds, eight seconds. Looks up at the clock, flashes it in the corner. There's Megan. Megan lays it up, and she's fouled. She's going to line to shoot two. Nice aggressive move by Megan Woods going baseline. Had one objective to lay it up off the glass and wound up getting smacked and knocked to the floor. But she's at the line to shoot two with four seconds to go here in this first quarter. First free throw for Megan. Knocks it down. Megan, I had the pleasure of interviewing her on... Friday night, 
over there in Eastview. She had a one heck of an outing. Second free throw on the way. Off the front iron, no good. Loose ball rebounded by G. She puts it up and in. And drops, and she's going to go with the line to shoot, too. Gisela Mall not to be denied right there. Nice job by Gisela getting around the defender. Thought she had her blocked up, but no, no doubt about it. It's an and one opportunity. 2.8 seconds to go here in first quarter. 21-3. After Megan's free throw and G's bucket. And then that one drops 22 to 3. So end of the first quarter, 22 to 3. We'll take a quick break. Come back for quarter number 2. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball right here on Vipe Live. We'll be right back. Hey, high schoolers. Are you interested in a career in sports media? Vipe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. Hey, I'm senior Shelby Hayes, and you're listening to Lady Timberwolves Basketball on Vibe Live. Welcome back to the Timberdome. Michael Rose here along with our QA back at Vibe Live. That's Rock and Rev Randy Fry. Thanks so much for being with us. Second quarter just underway. 22 to 3. The first quarter score. Cowan with the basketball. Possession arrow for the Lady Raiders. On the far side is Cowan. Guarded by Molly. Molly, Shelby, G, Megan, and Elaine in the game. Starting five. Shot on the way. No good. Loose ball. Rebounded by Elaine. And she is fouled by Avani Justice. Fifth team foul, third foul for Avani Justice, and she's going to take an early seat here with plenty of time to go in the second quarter. That's a tough break for the Raiders. G pushes the floor. Far side, Shelby pops up from the post on the top of the key. Molly Lee in the corner on the way. Three-pointer knocks it down. <laughs> Molly, another three-pointer, second of the evening unofficially. 25-3, Lady Wolves on top. Mackey goes sideline, looks underneath. Whoa, Molly hit the dust, bit the dust, slipped on, on the floor. <laughs> Three-pointer on the way for G and rattles in and out. Loose ball rebounded by Shelby. She puts it up off the glass and in. Shelby making her presence known here in the second quarter. That's usually when she starts to shine. Shelby getting warmed up. 6.58 to go here in quarter number two. Again, thanks, Randy. Appreciate you checking in as always. Lady, Ra Lady Raiders with the basketball. Knocked away. Megan with the loose ball. Knocked into the hands of Megan by... Oh. That was a good turn of events. Elaine King got the loose ball. Give it up to Megan. Megan gives G. G looks inside. There's Shelby cutting the basket. She's fouled. She's going to the line to shoot two. Shelby's first free throw drops in. Twenty-eight to three here with six thirty-seven to go. Shelby's second free throw on the way. That one drops in as well. Twenty-nine three. Cowan now gives it up to Shorter. Shorter with the basketball pass over to the far side, knocked out of the air. Mackey gets the loose ball. Marin Smith almost got a, a bad pass stolen away from her. But Mackey cleans it up. Mackey on the far side. Up top, Cowan with the basketball now. 
Lady Raiders trail now 29-3 with 6.13 to go in the second quarter. Look inside, trying to go down low. That was Kyler Reed. Reed couldn't get the handle on it. Turnover back to the Lady Timberwolves with 6.09 to go. Reed will take a seat. Boffman checks back in. Oh, I beg your pardon, that's Lawson checks in. Shelby gets the pass from Megan. Skip pass over on the far side from the near side. G with the three-pointer on the way. No good. Loose ball rebounded by the Raiders. Outlet pass to Cowan. Cowan will push the floor up the near sideline. And now back to the middle. Launches a three-pointer from deep. Oh, my goodness. Way off the mark. No good. They hit the top of the stanchion on the off the backboard. The little rope that pulls it up. And it's a turnover back to the Lady Timberwolves. 5.41 to go. Jumper on the way, loose ball, no good. G gets the rebound from Little Look, trying to go underneath to Shelby. Shelby turned her back. Turnover back to the Raiders, 5.15 to go. Shelby and G having a little bit of a discussion right there. Another three point. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she did not call board, Brad. <laughs> Olivia Cowan launches another three pointer from about six feet beyond the arc and banks it off the glass. Holy cats. <laughs> I got to update the score. I'm two, two buckets behind. I beg your pardon. I just gave her. I'm one bucket behind. I, oh my goodness. My goodness. There we go. 29-6, 4.40 to go here in the second quarter. Megan Woods. Oh, we got two calls. Which one is it? Which is it? We got a block call from the side referee and a charge underneath, and it's going to be a charging call on Megan Woods. Yeah. Megan went aggressive, as we like her to do, to the basket, but... Uh, Knocked the Raider to the floor. Mackey with it. Gets it across the half-court stripe. 4.26 to go. Mackey tries to get around G. Pushes it. Tries to go cross-court. Angie Sacco lifts up her arms and takes it away. Nice pass from G to Reese. Reese lays it up and in. That's what we like to see. Reese Prater Merrill now gets a bucket. 31 to 6. Lady Wolves on top. Cow, another three pointer on the way off the mark. Good hustle by the Lady Raiders. Gets the loose ball. Puts it back up to Mackey on the top of the key. That was Riley Lawson who got that loose ball. Mackey to Cowan. Cowan now at the basketball. 3.35 to go. Lawson with it. Far side, shorter to Cowan for three. Off the mark, loose ball rebounded by Reese Prater Merrill. Reese will give it up to G. G's going to go up the floor on the far side. Gets across the half court stripe with 3.15 to go. Near side, there's Megan Woods on the wing. Down low, Angie Sacco baseline. Puts it back up, Megan. Megan swings around to Reese. Reese over to G for three. Off the side, no good. Angie, loose ball, rebound. Puts it up off the glass and in. Angie Sacco making her presence known on the offensive and defensive glass. And she puts that one back up and in. Pass into the corner. Way over the head of Lawson. Turnover back to the Lady, Lady Wolves. Isabel Peters and Elaine King set to check in. G Mall and Megan Woods will check out. Reese, Isabel, Angie, Shelby, and Elaine in the game here for the Lady Timberwolves. 2.49 to go. 33-6 to six is the score here in the second quarter. G 
checks back in. I think they're not sure why. That's all right. Angie with it. Top of the key. Swing it far side. Gisela with the basketball. Swing it around near side. Isabel over to Angie. Angie on the wing. Goes inside. High post to lane. Goes down low. There's Shelby. Shelby lays it up. She's fouled. Nice look right there. Down low. Shelby gives Elaine a pat. Says that's all right. Elaine was worried it wasn't a good pass, but it was a good look by Elaine, and Shelby lays it up. But is followed at the line. Here she is. First free throw is good. Second free throw for Shelby on the way. That one's good as well. Oops. Stolen away. Andy with the basketball. Gives it up top to Isabel. 35 to 6 the score here. Elaine King goes inside. Shelby. Shelby makes a move. Kicks it out to Isabel. Isabel for three. Off the side. No good. There's G. She gets a rebound. She puts it up on that left side. No good. But she's fouled. And she's going to the line to shoot too. First free throw misses for G. <laughs> G. Visibly upset after that one. She slumps her shoulders and takes a couple steps back. Now she's back at the line for the second shot. That one drops right in. 36-6. Two minutes to go here in quarter number two. Oh, almost lost the handle. Cowan gets the pass to the far side, guarded by Shelby. Cowan backs it way up. Now coming in again. I dare, yeah, she shoots over the top of Shelby off the side. No good. Shelby got her hand in the way. Angie with the rebound. And she gives it up to G. 135 to go. Swing it far side. Isabel Peters down low. There's Shelby on the baseline. She'll pull it out. Skip pass up top. There's Angie swinging around to G. G goes baseline. Little jumper with that left hand. It's good. Gisela with a nice floater at the baseline. Gets it to drop. 38-6. 1.18 to go here in the second quarter. Pass inside. Shelby steals it away. Telegraph that one. Shelby read it the whole way. Gives it to G. Skip pass far side. Isabel makes a move. Kicks it out to G for three. The lefty on the mark. No good. Looked like it was going to drop. Shorter with the rebound. One minute left in the half. Cowan with the basketball. Over to Shorter. Shorter swings it near side. Reed gives it back to Cowan. Cowan with the basketball now. Down to 47 seconds. Cowan makes a move. Tries to get around Isabella. A foul called. Might have been a little hand check right there. We'll see. And it is on Isabel, I believe. Kira Bima in the game for the Lady Timberwolves. Bima, Woods, Reese Prater, Merrill, Angie Sacco, and Isabel Peters. 43 seconds to go. Cowan, another, oh my goodness, this girl launches threes like in nobody's business, and she gets that one to drop. No regard <laughs> for distance. She just launches. Megan Woods, pass from Isabel, baseline gives it to Reese. Reese puts it up with that right hand, rattles in. Reese Prater Merrill with another bucket here in the second quarter. Good answer right there by the Lady Timberwolves. 40 to 9, 13 seconds. Lawson gives it up top. Cowan for three, launches another one. That one off the side, no good. Reese with the rebound. She'll push the floor, looks at the clock into the corner, lays it up for Megan. Oh, 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 that was beautiful. Megan unable to finish. Great pass, good outlet pass there by Reese Prater Merrill. Had her eyes up the whole way. 40 to 9 is your halftime score. We're going to just let you listen to a few sights and sounds. Well, not sights. What am I saying? A few sounds here at halftime. And listen to the young men. They'll be warming up here. And uh, 
hopefully we'll get things uh, squared away. Do appreciate you listening in. Michael Rose here along with Mr. Randy Fry, our QA back at Vipe Lab. And again, a huge thank you to the Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves Booster Club for making this broadcast possible. Appreciate them and all they do for us. And uh, enjoy the halftime. We'll be back in a few minutes. Again, halftime score 40 to 9. Lady Wolves on top. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in a little bit.
official scoring totals in that first half of play. First, Corral, Savani Justice with one, Abby Boxman with two, Olivia Cowan leads the Raiders with six. For to go. Michael Rose here along with our queuing. Rock and Rev Randy Fry got insight. There we go. That's normal. Boom. That's that a baby. Normal temp. You know what I'm saying. Nice. 26-20. Leander up on Glenn at the half. I got probably the best source in the district right here giving me some intel. Appreciate it. Boys finishing up their warm-ups here. Getting ready for the third quarter. 40-9. Lady Timberwolves were at Eastview High School in Georgetown last Friday night. They upset the Lady Patriots by a score of 80 to 22. Here we go again. On pace to do the exact same thing once again. Third quarter about to begin. Starting lineup for both sides. Shorter, Mackey, Cowan, Boffman, and Justice for the Lady Raiders. King, Woods, Maul, Lee, and Hayes in the game here for the Lady Timberwolves. Third quarter about to begin. Lady Wolves have possession. Molly Lynn bound it to G. Now going to my left. They're in the white unis. Black numbers, green trim. It's black and white night here. Blackout, whiteout here at the Timberdome tonight. Fans in the stands. The soccer team here to cheer on Isabel and the girls. Shelby goes inside, tries to lay it up. No good. She's going to the line to shoot two. Three, Abby Boffman, her third, first team. 
two. Shelby Hayes at the line. Two ladies for the Raiders in triple with triple fouls. First free throw for Shelby drops in. Coach Brown in the house. Shelby at the line for her second free throw on the way. That one off the front and then rattles in. Nice shooter's touch for Shelby. Two for two here from the line. In the third quarter, Lady Wolves on top, 42-9 to nine as we get things rolling. Pass to Cowan. Cowan's been launching three-pointers, had a, hit a couple. Oh, all six points for the Lady Raiders in the second quarter. Both, uh, both, or excuse me, all six of those points, two three-pointers. Knocked down by Cowan. Justice goes inside, runs into a brick wall named Shelby Hayes who knocks her off course, knocks the ball out of her hands. Loose ball picked up by Megan Woods. Megan gives it. Over to G, G with it. Over to Molly, top of the key on the way. Three-pointer, no good off the side. Rebounded by Cowan. Outlet to Shorter, gives it to Mackey. Mackey pushes the floor, going to the far side here to my right now. Again, the Lady Raiders with black uniforms. Gold letters and numbers and maroon trim. Shorter with it, near side, looking to go inside. Down low to Smith. Smith Gets the ball knocked out of her hands. Elaine gives it to Shelby. Shelby, nice move. The up and under. She glides right to the basket. Gliding like she's on ice. Just skating right to it. Nice little scoop and score for Shelby Hayes. Shelby gets the 44th point. Four points here in the third quarter. 44 to match her number. Ball knocked out of bounds. They'll stay at the Lady Timberwolves. Molly inbounds it, gives it to G, and G hands it right back. 6.33 to go here in the third quarter. Shelby with it. Swing around Megan on the near side. Megan Woods goes high post. Shelby. Shelby turns around at the elbow. Tries to make a move. Kicks it out to Megan. Megan to Molly. Molly inside. Shelby kicks it out to G. G for three. Ooh, rattles in and out. No good. Loose ball. Lane tips it into the hands of Shelby. Shelby lays it up. No good, but she's fouled. These ladies, y'all, are something else. They keep their eyes up. They move without the basketball. They have great awareness, and Elaine King showing that in spades right there. Just a tip to Shelby. Beautifully executed. Shelby got knocked to the side. First free throw for Shelby. Ooh, rattles in and out. No good. Even with that missed free throw, it's still a thing of beauty to watch, folks. Glad you're with us tonight. 44-9, 6.17 to go. Shelby's second free throw on the way. Momentarily. Puts it up, and that one rattles in. Mackey gets the outlet pass near sideline, tries to get it on Molly. Molly cuts her off with the pass, forces her into the corner. Trap inside, and Lane gets the steal. Gives it to Molly. Molly's going to push the floor now. She'll pull it way back. Good to see Molly Lee in the lineup tonight. Molly took a little breather against Eastview. Nice pass from Shelby to Elaine. Jumper on the way, off the side, no good. Loose ball rebounded by G. She puts it up, gets pushed underneath. The rebound by Shelby. Shelby puts it up with that right hand. That one rattles in and out. Loose ball gets her own rebound, puts it up again. This time she's fouled and she's going to the, to the line. No, they're going to say offensive. It's going to be on G. Loose ball foul. Gisela picks up the loose ball foul. It's G's first foul of the evening. First team foul of the half. Justice over to Cowan. Cowan to Mackey in the corner for three on the way. It's good. Mia Mackey gets her first bucket of the evening. Puts the Lady Raiders into double digits here. 45 to 12, 5.15 to go. Lane King down low, Megan on the baseline, kicks it up top. There's GG on the near side wing, makes a move. Brings it back out around to Molly. Molly swings it to Shelby on the near side. Now to the far side, there's G. Baseline, kick it out to Megan for three. Megan from the elbow, sorry, from the wing, I beg your pardon. Her jumper misses. G gets the loose ball rebound. She lays up no good. And another loose ball rebound picked up by Megan. Megan lays it up and in. Oh, my goodness. That was hard to follow, but fun to watch, y'all. Megan Woods with another bucket. It's 47 to 12 here in the third quarter. Three-pointer on the way. Mackey knocks down another one. Holy cats.
Molly brings it up the floor. 47-15. Lane King, top of the key, swing it far side. G. Gisela with the basketball. Angie Sacco and Reese Prater Merrill set to check in at the next whistle. Molly leads to Shelby Hayes. Hayes with it. Near side on the wing, Megan. Megan Woods kicks it up top to Molly Lee. Molly will pull it back. 4.08 to go in the third quarter. Elaine King. There's G for three on the far side wing. Rattles off. There's Elaine. She gets the loose ball rebound. Puts it up no good. Shelby gets the rebound off the Elaine King miss. And she puts it up on the left side. And that one drops in. Shelby Hayes. Scoring clinic here in the third quarter. Gosh, that's fun to watch. 49-15. Another three-pointer from Mackey, and she knocks that one down, too. Three for three from three-point line for Mackey here in the third quarter. Holy moly, a timeout taken on the floor. 30-second timeout by the Lady Timberwolves. Again, we'll keep it right here. I want to give a thank you to, uh, to Suna Venkat. Suna is our IT professional, profession all included. Suna is an amazing person with an intellect that exceeds anything I could ever imagine. I could not do these broadcasts without her expertise. It's very thankful. <laughs> Miss Amesley Davis is in the house tonight, Amesley. Senior leader from last year's state championship team. She's representing tonight. One of the three seniors who left us. Amesley attending... Texas A&M, and oh my goodness, Sarai Stupignan is here too. Are you kidding me? I went the whole. I went the whole half without interviewing you. What What's you up, kid? Me? I could have interviewed you, you goober. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Come talk to me. Good to see you. Sarai Namesley in the house, y'all. Shelby. Excuse me, it's Angie. Angie on the far side gets Reese. Reese underneath. There's Shelby. Shelby with the layup. Reese with a nice look from far side. Looks underneath. There's Shelby cutting to the basket. Lays it up and in. Oh, my goodness sakes. Avani Justice drives against Shelby. Shelby did a good job of moving her feet, going with Justice. Justice tries to go baseline. Shelby didn't quite get her feet moved quick enough as she gets her with that hip and a foul called, and Justice at the line to shoot two. As much as we don't want to see that, we've got to give it every once in a while. Justice's first free throw knocks it down. Thanks to those three three-pointers, and now this free throw by Justice, it's double-digit quarter here for the Lady Raiders. That free throw off the mark. Boffman gets the rebound. Spin move against Angie. Angie knocks the ball off course. Good block right there by Sacco and it's into the hands of Shelby. Shelby pushes the floor. Gives it to Angie on the wing up top. There's Molly Lee. She's going to pull it way back. Sets up the offense. Swing it near side. There's Angie on the wing. High post to Reese. Reese down low to Shelby. Shelby into the corner. Molly Lee for three. It's good. There we go. Molly's got a three-pointer in each of the three quarters here so far, unofficially, but still, that's a heck of a fun thing to see. Molly with that ball in her hand, knocking it down from the arc, behind the arc, I should say. Justice guarded by Reese. Reese gets it, uh, knocks it out of her hands. Justice picks it back up. Reese in her face. Justice goes to the right. There's Angie. Angie cuts it off the pass. Boffman gets the pass down low. She lays it up and in. Boffman doing, doing a good job moving without, without the basketball. Gets in the good position, lays it up and in as well. Fifty-four to twenty here, with one fifty-four to go. Pass Aaron into the corner. Turnover back to the Lady Raiders. <laughs> Isabel Peters checks in. Molly Lee will take a breather. One fifty-two to go here in quarter number three. Lady Wolves on top. Fifty-four twenty-one. I should say. I didn't have that extra point on that free throw. Mackey with it, top of the key, gets around. Nice pick by the Lady Raiders. Oh my goodness. G got stuck in a screen right there and tried to push her way out of it. G standing there, holding on to me too, which they are. Can't argue with that. 
G with her second personal. Three team fouls for the Lady Timberwolves. Two team fouls for the Raiders. Justice jumper on the way and no good. Loose ball into the hands of Shorter. Shorter gets the rebound looking for a little help underneath. Kicks it up top. Lawson. Lawson dribble drive into the lane. Lays it high off the glass. No good. Loose ball collected by Shelby. Hands it off to G. G will push the floor on the left side. Spin move in the paint. Lays it up. Knocked to the floor but she's going to go to the line to shoot two. Nice aggressive move. Great move. Spinning into the lane is Gisela Mullen. She's at the line to shoot two. Mackey with her fourth personal. G knocks that one down. Second free throw on the way for Gisela. 115, 115 to go here in the third quarter. G's free throw off the front iron. No good. Loose ball rebounded. Taken up by Justice and the Raiders. G's free throw went to the floor. Justice goes inside Boffman. Boffman tries to put it on the floor. Loose ball picked up by Gisela. She's going to push the floor. G pulls it way back. Goes to her left on the near side. Up top, there's Angie swinging around the lane. The lane goes down low in the baseline. There's Reese. Reese tries to get around Justice. Justice makes her push it back up. There's Isabel. Isabel Peters now gives it to Gisela Mall. G directing traffic at the top of the key. Inside, 45 seconds to go. Down to 40. Angie Saka with the basketball up top. Reese Prater Merrill swings it to Isabel Peters. Swinging around now near side. Gisela with the basketball. Elaine King on the baseline. Back up top. G for three. It's good. That's what's up. There we go. 22 seconds to go. Mackey with the basketball. Gets it across the half-court stripe. Near side, 15 seconds. Screen set. Mackey gets around the screen. Launches a three-pointer off the side. No good. Loose ball hits the top of the stanchion. With 11 seconds to go. It's Timberwolves basketball. <laughs> Wow. Gisela in the basketball game along with Isabel, along with Reese, along with Angie and Elaine. Isabel Peters gives it to G for three, knocks it down, and that's the end of the third quarter. Oh my goodness. 61 21. Lady Timberwolves on top, end of the third quarter. We'll come back in just a minute right here on Vipe Live. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball. We'll be back. Question. When you walk into the boardrooms of the most successful companies here in Texas, who do you meet? Answer. Men and women who played high school sports. Education-based high school sports give us more than athletes we can root for. They give us leaders we can depend on. Question. So where will we find tomorrow's leaders? Answer. High school sports. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. I'm senior Angie Sacco, and you're listening to Vibe Live. To the Timberdome fourth quarter, just about to begin, and yes, Merle Bertrand, yes, Merle Bertrand, I shall change the scoreboard post haste. Here we go, Merle. Are you watching? Are you watching, Merle? Here we go. Fourth quarter, boom. Here we go, fourth quarter underway, 61-21. Lady Timberwolves with a significant lead here. Lady Raiders basketball, Justice inbounds it to Mackey. Mackey pressured, pressed by G. Ball knocked out of the air, it'll stay with the Lady Timberwolves. They got the ball, then got it knocked out of their hands in the corner. Now G brings it up the floor. Twenty-one points in the third quarter for the Lady Timberwolves. Twelve points for the Lady Raiders. Shelby with it, baseline jumper in the corner. Not good. Shelby with another jumper, and a couple more points in the books. Lady Timberwolves rolling. 
Shorter gives it to Cowan. Cowan on the far side up top. Mackey. Mackey now to Cowan. Cowan for three. Puts her back into that one. Loose ball. Tracked down by Molly Lee. Molly taps it to herself. Pushes the floor near side. Gives it to G. G goes baseline. Jumper. Rattles in and out. No good. Loose ball. Shelby trying to find it. And she puts it up and in. And she's going to the line for the M1. Woo <laughs> Nice job by Shelby underneath, staying with that basketball and just putting it right up. Another great thing, another intangible you don't see a lot from these Lady Timberwolves. They don't put the ball back on the floor. They go right back up with the basketball, put it back up and in, or get fouled. And or get fouled. Shelby knocks down the N1. Five quick points here in the quarter for Shelby. 66-21. Pass knocked out of the air into the hands of G. She pushes the floor. Nice pass, Molly. Molly lays it up, and it's good. Ho, ho, ho. G, a nice unselfish pass. Molly had to keep up with that one. Moved her feet very well. Lays it high off the glass and in. Cowan, a little jumper on the baseline. She knocks it down. Olivia Cowan with another basket. This time it's in front of the arc instead of behind it. Molly Lee, far side, down low. Shelby on the baseline. Shelby looking to come up. Gives it to Molly. Swing it around near side. G, baseline jumper. Had her shot blocked. Oh, they're going to call a foul. G's going to shoot two on the foul. Shelby will take a breather. Angie Sacco in the game. Justice's fourth personal right there. G at the line. Her second free throw on the way. First one knocked down. Second one as well. 70-23. 6.13 to go. G takes a seat. Molly Lee, Angie Sacco, Elaine King, Reese Prater-Merrill. Megan Woods in the basketball game here for the Lady Timberwolves. 6-10 to go. In the fourth quarter, Mackey brings it up the floor. Cowan pops up near side. Now the top of the key back to Mackey. Down on the wing, there's Cowan. She rolls around. In the corner, Mackey near side. Three-pointer on the way. Way out the mark. Loose ball. Rebounded by Shorter. Shorter gets the ball knocked out of her hands by Elaine King. Nice defense right there. Elaine was in position. But the ball just too high and far off the side of the rim. And Elaine couldn't track it down. Shorter gets it. And Elaine just slaps it out of bounds. Lady Raiders with the basketball. Top of the key. 544 to go. Olivia Cowan to Mackey. Mackey to Cowan on the near side on the wing. Guarded by Reese. Mackey goes down low. Baseline now coming back up on the wing near side. Almost carried it. You can hear Coach Williamson saying that was a carry. Cowan gets around the screen, launches a three-pointer, loose ball, rebounded by Elaine King, hands it to Molly. Molly will push the floor. Saw Reese streaking down the near side, but quickly cut off. So Molly will keep it. Now she'll give it to Megan Woods. Megan coming to the top of the key. Now far side, Molly Lee on the wing for three on the way. Off the front iron, no good. Loose ball into the hands of the Lady Raiders. Five to go. Five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Mackey pushes the floor. Baseline jumper. There's Reed. No good. Loose ball. Knocked out of the air. Angie Sacco couldn't keep the handle, but Shorter knocks it out of bounds, so it's Lady Timberwolves basketball. Molly Lee checks out as Isabel Peters checks back in. 4.51 to go. Kira Bima looking to check in. Just a second. Coming to the top of the bench here. Not quite at the scores table, but getting there. 4.44 to go. Isabel Peters with the basketball. Down low, Megan Woods from Elaine King. Mackey. Bring it up the floor. Up. 
24-27 to go here in the game. Mackey dribble drive, kick into the corner. Meg, or excuse me, Isabel Peters gets the loose ball and the steal. She's pushed in the floor. Isabel lays it up off the glass and in. Now Kira B much set to check in as she sits down in front of the scorer's table. 4.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. Cowan, nice screen set by Boffman. Cowan launches a three-pointer. Loose ball rebounded by Reese. Reese Prater Merrill gets the rebound and she's off and running up the far sideline. Now she'll pull it back as she gets across the half-court stripe. Gives it up top. There's Isabel. Isabel sets up the offense. Now to Angie. Angie Saka with the basketball near side. Megan Woods on the wing. Down low. There's Reese. Nice give and go to Angie. Angie puts it off the glass. And in. Angie with the primal scream right there. And she gets the N1. She's been wanting that for a while. She got it. And a shout out to Angie's dad. A little finger point to the sky and a kiss of the hand. The lady's wearing the cancer awareness ribbons tonight in honor of Angie's dad. Forgot to mention that. I do apologize, but it's a really nice gesture. Black and white night here for that reason. Angie at the N1 gets it here in the fourth quarter. Lady Wolves 75, Lady Raiders 23. Nice move on the baseline by Mackey. She gets around two defenders and knocks it down. Isabel Peters to Reese on the far side. Reese Prater Merrill over to Megan Woods on the wing. Megan Woods launches a three off the side. No good. Loose ball rebounded. Oh, by no one. Finally, Boffin picks it up off the floor as it pinballs off of people's feet. Mackey gets it with three minutes to go. She launches a three. In and out, no good. Loose ball rebounded by Isabel. Isabel corrals it. She'll slow things down as she jogs up the floor. Gets across the half-court stripe. Puts it in play here in the near side. Megan on the wing. High post, Reese. Reese tries to make a move. Kicks out to Angie for three. Angie feeling it just a little off the mark. No good. Reese gets the rebound. She puts it up. No good. Megan gets the rebound. She puts it up, and it finally Megan falls in. Woods. Megan Woods. Right there where she needed to be. Collects that loose ball rebound on the offensive side. 77, 25, 223 to go. Jumper on the way. is a, Oh, a travel call. I thought Isabel got her on the arm. But Cowan traveled. Turnover back to the Lady Timberwolves. That 223 mark remains. And out 222 to go here in the fourth quarter. Lady Wolves up. 77, 25. Peters gets it across. Kira Bima now. Kira with the basketball. Comes top of the key. Give it to Megan Woods. Megan will pull it down. Swing it near side. Isabel Peters. Isabel looks baseline. There's Reese. Reese goes to the high post. And off the hands of Angie. Into the hands of Kira Bima. Bima gives it to Megan. Megan to Angie. Angie kicks it out to Kira. Kira to Isabel. Isabel pulls it down. Gives it to Kira. Kira swinging around. 155 to go. Kira going to the far side. And hands it to Angie. And now Angie Gives it back to Kira, a little give and go. The Lady Raiders trying to disrupt everything, doing a good job, but the Lady Timberwolves just too much ball control right there. Kira into the corner on the far side. Angie give on the baseline to Reese. Reese kicks it out to Isabel. Isabel to Megan. Megan kicks it to Kira. Kira for three. Oh, off the side. No good. Everybody jumped up in the air. Kira gets the loose ball, goes inside to Angie, and a jump ball called. Elaine King checking in. Megan Woods will take a seat. Isabel Peters inbound the basketball. Gives it to Kira. Kira shot blocked out of her hands. It's going to knock to the sideline. It's going to be Lady Raiders basketball. Kira had a good look, but nice job by the Lady Raiders collapsing in on her to knock it out of her hands. As she puts up that... Short range jumper, 115, 115 to go in the game. Cowan gets the basketball, 77, 25, 111 to go. Cowan near side to Mackey, Mackey on the baseline. Makes a, makes a nice move, lays it up off the glass. Good Nia hustle Mackey. by Nia Mackey. Nia is showing that speed and that resiliency. She gets around two defenders once again. She's done that a few times here tonight. Oops, wrong button, there we go. 77-27 inside a minute to go. Isabel Peters, far side, up top. Reese Prater Merrill 
We just took a look at it. Skip pass into the corner. There's Angie. Angie goes baseline around Mackey. A little move around the side, and she's fouled. Mackey gets Angie with the body as Angie tried to get around. Nice move by Sacco down low. Angie Sacco doing a great job here tonight. As are all the young ladies in here on the floor. Isabel Peters even making her presence known, getting on the offensive side of things. Sacco first free throw. Rattles off to the side. No good. Second free throw. <laughs> Drops for Angie. <laughs> She's getting them on the 17th. Oh. <laughs> 30 seconds left here in the basketball game. Lady Timberwolves on top. Lady Raiders get it across the half-court stripe. Cowan with it now. 25 seconds. Guarded by Isabel. High post Justice. Justice trying to get around Reese. Makes a move. And a foul call. And Justice will go to the line to shoot two. Reese tried to, did a great job moving her feet. Just got a little bit too much hand on that. Reese with three personal, fourth team foul. 16 seconds to go here in the game. Justice's first free throw rattles in and out. No good. Avani Justice at the line. Second free throw. That one drops. Isabel bring it across the half-court stripe, and now they'll just give a go. Kira Bima, back to Isabel. No shot, five, four, three, two, and one. And that'll do it. Final that score from the Timberdome. Score. Lady Timberwolves defeat the Lady Raiders by a score of 78 to 28. And 6 and 0. Still by a quarter. 22-0, as you just heard Brad mention. 6 and 0 in district play. Almost halfway through. One more game to go before the halfway point. We'll be at, uh, I believe we'll be in Georgetown. I know they're our next opponent come Friday night. For Cedar Park, Isabel Peters had two. Reese Brader now four. Megan Woods, five. Angie Sacco, eight. Molly Lee, 13. Shelby Hayes, 20. D Mall at all scores of 24. Next up, the men. All righty, there we go. G led everyone with 24 points tonight. Only one left. Hoping to get one of the ladies to come chat with me. Looks like it might be Shelby. I hope it is. Shelby getting some hugs on the sideline. Could you? Shelby going to come come and join me? Yeah, please. Where is she? Is she here? There we go. Because this girl had a heck of a game right Yes, here. she did. This girl. You get to hang on to that, would you? Molly Lee and Shelby Hayes joining me. Make sure that's really close to your mouth, ladies, so we can hear you, please. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Right on. Hey, Molly. Hi. Welcome back. Put that close to your mouth, please. There you go. <laughs> Molly, a uh, little bit banged up against Eastview, so you sat out. Tonight you came back in rare form, knocking down some shots from behind the arc. How does it feel to be back? It feels great. I mean, I was only out for one game, and I felt like forever. I'm just <laughs> glad to be back on the court with my teammates. Right on. You feeling better? Yeah, it's a lot better. Thank R you. Right on. So coming right out, gangbusters, get the first bucket of the night, get things rolling, and another big victory. What's the, uh, what's it like for you all to be grooving like this with one more game before the halfway point of district play? Yeah, you know, just that momentum that we have going into the second half is going to be really great. And going to that Georgetown game, you know, that's always a fun one for us, a uh, big rivalry. Um, so I'm just really excited the way we're playing, the way we're moving the ball with each other, playing for each other, everything like that. It's going really good. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned Molly coming out of the gates with uh, the quick buckets. You uh, kind of seem to be the quiet observer picking your spots in the second quarter. 
and they're on, you seem to shine a lot. What's it like for you to kind of step back a little bit and see everybody getting involved and then make your mark as well? Yeah, definitely. It's great. You know, the, pr the problem that other teams have with guarding us is that we have so many people and mm -hmm. they can't match up with us because we have Molly who can knock down the threes outside, G who can take girls one-on-one, -on -one, me inside on the post, Elaine, the way she moves the ball, Megan, the way she rebounds. It's just really hard for teams to match up with us. And those girls got to show everything that they had, especially when they were collapsing on me in the mm -hmm. beginning of the game. Yeah. Them knocking down those shots opened open my game up and then let me go to work. So. And not to nitpick, you all win big time again, but free throws seem to be just a little bit of a heel for you. What's what's that like with practice? Is that something you all focus on? Yeah, definitely. We shoot free throws every practice um, for at least 30 minutes, I would have yeah. to say. like it's a, it's a long time. You know, those are things that win games, separate games. So, you yeah. know, big part of what we do. And we're going to get to the line, so it's very important. Right on. The last question about Georgetown. and You mentioned it's a rivalry, Shelby. Uh, any any particular things you're looking forward to as far as getting involved with Georgetown and keeping this rolling? Um, sorry, I couldn't really hear you. As, with, with Georgetown coming up, what are you all working on as far as what you want to do to make sure you get involved quite early and get We're definitely done? working on pushing the ball more, outletting it out and getting it quick. And uh, probably our press, they don't handle pressure very well, so we're going to try and really uh, get up there and... Right on. Well, you heard it here. Look out, Georgetown. Here come the Lady Timberwolves. Congratulations, ladies. Thank yeah. you very much. Go celebrate with your teammates, and we'll see you on Friday, all right? Yeah, thank you. All right. Shelby Hayes, Molly Lee, another big victory. The Lady Timberwolves defeat the Lady Raiders by a score of 78 to 28. A huge shout-out to Sunderbank Cat, to Merle Bertrand, Christina Weber Bertrand, and to Randy Fry, the Rock and Rev. Brad Cohen, the PA announcer here at the Timberdome. The boys will be coming up in just a second. I, before I sign off, I have a couple of special people here that I'm sure <laughs> that I'm sure would like to would like to say hello. Who, who gets this? <laughs> Ainsley Davis is here along with Sarai's Tupinion. <laughs> Amesley Davis is the president of Texas A&M College. That is right. She she is already making her presence known. And I think I think Sarai is flipping burgers at McDonald's. Is yep. that what's going on? Yep. I'm the head executive manager. Really? Congratulations on that. Nice. Uh, Amesley, can you put this as close to your mouth as possible so we can hear your golden pipes? I'm kissing it. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate it. What's up, ladies? Welcome back to the Timberdome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Happy you. to be here. Like, it's really good to see you. What's What's going on, really, besides McDonald's? Um, basketball. Playing some basketball, yeah, maybe. A little bit. Just a yeah. Tad. <laughs> How's that going? Uh, it's going. Yeah. Uh, we're We're working on turning it around, but it's good experience, college. It's a process, right? Yeah. It's, fun. it's starting all over again. Yeah. You know what it's like? Yeah. You are well equipped for turning things around, are you not? I was. Exactly. See, that's great. What's it like to balance school and athletics? Uh, okay, I thought first semester was going to be a lot harder, but it was pretty, like, I took easy classes, so yeah. it wasn't that bad. Nice. And a lot of my classes were, like, online, so it wasn't that bad. Very good. So you're maintaining? Yeah, I'm good. Nice. And so this is it's a junior college? No? Tell us where you're at. <laughs> St. Mary's. I know where you're at. <laughs> St. Mary's, right, in San Antonio. And, of course, you are um, already class valedictorian for the class yes. of 2026, yes. right? Yep. Okay. So how's that going? It's going really good. Right now I'm at Texas A&M University. I finished my first semester. All A's. So we're doing good. Right. See, I told you about yes. valedictorian. I know. Yes. I wasn't said. kidding. No. Good job. Um, right now I'm just focused on getting an application ready for nursing school. Right on. So yeah. We talked uh, last game or last time we were here about a, uh, working at uh, working this break, I doing am. the nursing home, yes. doing everything else. So what's that like to get the hands-on experience? Um, I like to work at a nursing home because it gives me first-hand experience with patients who might not be at the same level as you are. And, like, patient care is very important in the hospital. So I'm glad I got to witness that early on. Oh, man. Every day at the nursing home is a different story. There's oh, always something oh, going man. on, so it's never boring. Right on. Are you doing anything fun besides classes at school? Um, I've been hanging out with a lot of friends, having yeah, a lot of like, time together because we go back in five days. Right. So I've been doing that. No vacation for this semester or this 
uh, winter break, but it's been fun sitting at home with the same family. Excellent. Any extracurriculars for you? Intramural type stuff? Or? Um, next semester I'll be starting an intramural um, basketball. So get Look back out. to my roots. Look out. There we go. Are you going to like maybe throw in a couple of trips to play some soccer on the weekend just for um, old time's sake? I was sake? actually looking at 3v3 soccer for an type deal to keep me busy, but I think we'll be doing that next semester, yeah. Right on. Very good. I think it'll happen. Fantastic. Hey, I, you all are the very first alum to ever come and actually talk to me. Really? I've, I've bet, yes. Why? I've begged people. Because they're, they're, just, they're just busy. They don't, they don't think they, they should. Cool yeah, you are too. You are the coolest. Thank you know this. Yeah, so it's really, <laughs> in case you just tuned in and like, what the heck's going on? I'm talking to Ainsley Davis and Sarai Subanyan, alum, state champions for Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves. And uh, no rings, ladies. Uh, hey. Yeah, see. I, I just kind of I wanted to make sure McDonald could see it, but she wasn't around tonight, yeah, so uh, yeah. I, I saved it. And so. people are food. They see <laughs> so the legacy you all set. What do you think of the Lady Timberwolves here this season? From what you've seen so far, are you surprised? Not no, surprised? Not I'm not shocked at all. No. At all. I told Ainsley when we graduated, I was like, if they don't, like, they're gonna be good regardless. Right. I'm not like their performance tonight. I'm not like I knew this was gonna happen. I'm not shocked. Usually when you no. see senior graduate, especially because I think each senior last year had a very vital role. When those roles kind of like disappear, you think they might have a drop or something, but it's been continuous since this year. Yeah. 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 Does, that, does that make you all like proud? Yeah. 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 I think there's like alums that sometimes are like salty, but I don't know. We're like really proud. We're really excited to see it. Like we're ready. Team last year, so it still continues on to this year. Yeah. Yeah, and like we're ready to like get the call in March that like they made it to the state tournament and watch. Like, I'm ready. I live in San Antonio, so I'm ready to see that. You're right there. Uh, I'm going to need some production assistance. So, okay. All right, so we'll, we'll get you to make sure you're there. So you put that on your calendar as well. Okay, we'll come, do it. Come back. We'll do it. And yeah, we'll make this I'm happen. Sure you'll see us again, too. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. If you're lucky. <laughs> uh, we can only hope we're so, we're so lucky, so that's good. <laughs> Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming by. Appreciate yeah, you. It's good to see you. Us. You're welcome. Thank Anytime you, you want to come back. I right? Will. Hey, You'll good luck. Be here. That's right. Good <laughs> luck turning things around. Thank you. And continued success. Thank you. All right, y'all. Be good. Amesley Davis, Sarai Stupion. Two of the best. Two of the greats. And with that, we're going to sign off here on at Rock and Roll. Thank you so much for everything, man. Have a great evening, y'all. Again, the final score here from the Timberwolves. Timberwolves defeat the Lady Raiders, 78-28. For the Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves Booster Club. And everyone with Vibe Live, appreciate you listening. Have a great evening. We'll see you Friday when we take on the Georgetown Eagles. Until then, have a great evening. And go Lady Wolves.